combining hobbies using the 3D printer to make a coupling between the DC drive motor and variable capacitor on the magnetic loop. I'll show you the result in operation after I get it finished and mounted. Okay, so I'm down here in the uh, man cave, the basement. Washing machine is acting as a temporary table while I work on this. Uh, just because it's the right height, I don't like to lean down. But anyway, um, I finished the coupling. As you can see, Let me zoom in a little here. There's the 3D printed parts. It's a clamp that clamps onto the shaft of the uh, variable capacitor and onto the uh, shaft of the geared down um, DC motor to drive the capacitor. And I've got my uh, little control box over here I built with buttons for up and down so I can move the motor one way or the other so I can show it to you. Hooked it up to a battery. It's a battery I hook my portable radio up to when I want to operate uh, out on a picnic table or something. So, uh, anywho, we've got a, a DC motor here and a little capacitor to eliminate the, the noise from its brushes. comes down, and I'm using some Ethernet cable that I had a lot of, so I use some of it. And over on this side over here, I don't know if you can see it. Place where you can see it. Maybe you can see it. There's a couple of diodes hooked to two of the wires. They uh, come up to this little piece of wire here. That's a small pickup antenna to pick up RF being radiated by the, the copper part of the, the big loop. And they send a DC voltage. It's uh, another capacitor down here filters it to filters out the RF. So they send a DC voltage up the wire to this meter, which is a relative power meter. So when I'm transmitting, this meter deflects. It doesn't actually indicate anything um, accurately here, aside from a relative strength of power. It's a field strength meter. This knob is for calibrating it, so you don't peg it. You know That makes, uh, it, makes it easy to tune it. Um, you key down, you transmit, and you tweak the, end, the uh, capacitor up and down until you see a peak in power. Roughly, you tune it by listening to the noise on the radio. You uh, you tune up or down until you hear a noise peak. You'll hear the sound go and come up and go down like that as you pass it. You can back up and, and find the peak, and then you're you're close to being tuned. And then I got a switch here that I can switch down to run the motor at a quarter of its normal speed for fine tuning using the uh, relative power meter or the SWR indication on the radio. So I'm going to, I've got it in fast mode. I'm going to let you see it operate here. I'm going to push one of the buttons. And you'll see how uh, the DC motor is turning the capacitor. At a nice slow speed. And if I flip the switch down, we go a lot slower for fine tuning. And I can reverse it. So that's how it works. Real simple. And uh, <laughs> this plastic lid that you see here, that's the lid off of a uh, food container like you'd use in your fridge to store your food. I just snap that on to protect it from dust and debris and put a little piece of tape around the opening there and back here and then it's uh, it's all nice and protected in its own little case so that's how that works and the uh, the control box here just has alligator clips for hooking to the battery and the cable going over to the uh, 
assembly on the antenna is just a little Cat5 connector with an appropriate jack on the side of the box so I can quickly well I can quickly plug it in when I'm setting up in the field to operate so that's it the magnetic loop is finished thanks for watching